So this is inside the uh, CRZ. This is a CRZ uh, battery unit uh, on the bench. And we can see various features here and I'll point them out to you. I've just taken the top cover off, which is uh, that thing there. And that is the three phase motor wire sort of terminal block cover. It actually fits over these bits here. So what we've got is we've got the battery itself underneath all this. I haven't got to that yet. I have the switchboard on the side here and then main on on off switch. Uh, <coughs> probably that's the main contactor and then we have the outputs here which bring the power into this module here which is the uh, IGBT uh, module. This is the intelligent power unit and this receives input from this side over here as well which is the um, MCM and battery control module and here we have the phase uh, current sensors in this separate block here which is quite nice which is useful now one of the most interesting features is this this is the battery voltage tap wire so it'd be very simple to put a bcm fuller voltage tap module into this if you are using a lithium pack that's a blank there and then we have three other connections uh, and the main connection to the car so this magic box does everything underneath this we have the dc to dc converter this is the 12 volt output from the dc converter this is the high voltage input into it comes across obviously through the igbt module and into the dc to dc uh, again i haven't looked at this yet there are serial comms between this and the mcm bcm and there's also serial comms between the ipu sorry the uh yeah intelligent power unit and uh, which is the IGBT module and the MCM so we could hack into that as well if we wanted to try and adjust voltages but initially I'm just going to uh, put a straightforward 48 cell LTO pack and use this wire off this pack here to or this connector to make a BCM fuller this is a spare pack because obviously I've still got the original pack in the car and uh, then we'll see how it uh, responds to that initially um, to make sure the performance is as good as it can be from a standard standard voltage setup and standard current setup which this will be initially I'll also fake the temperature sensors in the pack so that the um, motor control warming module thinks the nickel metal hydride pack is at 25 degrees centigrade then it should be prepared to give us maximum performance um, and then it will just depend on voltage tap state of charge and all the other variables after if that proves successful then I'll take it back out again and then we'll start thinking about increasing the current by modifying the um, current sensors and there's a battery current sensor on the end of the pack which I haven't got to yet so that's where we are this is video one just a quick walkthrough of what we can see when the covers off the CRZ